The Song of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 2. My beloved is gone down into his garden, to the beds of spices, to feed in the gardens and to gather lilies. Now something strange is going on here. She's been searching for her beloved, hasn't she? That's what all of these verses are about. She's gone about the city and been accosted by the watchmen. The daughters of Jerusalem are now cross-examining her. And now they ask her where her beloved is. And to our surprise, she has an answer. Surely if she knows where he is, she doesn't need to search for him. Isn't that logical? You know, sometimes our love for him grows a little cooler. Maybe we've been Christians for a long time and the vivid colours have become sepia, faded, an indefinable melancholy pervades our hearts and minds. We tell ourselves that we're searching for him and we try to prove it by reading our Bibles and praying. Maybe other things also, such as visiting lonely people or the sick in hospital or giving to charity, any number of things. And we try to convince ourselves of the half-truth that we're on the road, everything's fine. Aren't we doing more than we've ever done? Isn't that proof that we're searching for him? And suddenly we're stopped in our tracks, maybe by a question from somebody such as the person in this verse. They ask where her beloved is and to her own amazement, she knows. She knows where he is. She says, he's in the garden in his garden. You know, when I lost my joy and the assurance of his presence, I knew exactly why. Because the Holy Spirit within convicts. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. Maybe it was that harsh word that I'd spoken or that bit of gossip or that habitual sin, being irritable, impatient, indulging my laziness. But rather than deal with this real issue that had distanced me from the Lord, I preferred to spend more time reading my Bible or praying or visiting the sick and so comfort myself with the pretense that I'm really searching for him, that everything's fine. But all the time, I know where he is. The Holy Spirit told me and he knows the way back to the joy I once had.